Inside here is the most profitable cryptocurrency mining machine on the planet right now. I've always wanted to say that in a video. Let's open it up and let's check it out. This is the Gold Shell XT box, which you've been paying attention to the space. You probably already knew. If not, welcome. So let's see what we got in here. I think it's probably just the standard stuff. There we got gold shells, booklet, got our Wi-Fi antenna adapter, and then let's see, I wanna kinda of see the power situation on this thing. Nothing else in there, that's it. So we got two six pin, which is nice, because I know they've gone even above that on some modding machines. Ethernet's there, Wi-Fi antennas in the front, so that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, straightforward little gold shell box. Let's get it up in mining. We'll measure its power, measure its performance. I gotta figure out pool, exchanges. I'm gonna tell you my strategy, which some people may not like, but that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, let's get going. Let's not waste any of your time here. I got the gold shell XT box hooked up here into a 750 watt server power supply. Breakout board is right there and it's got Two six pin cables coming out of there, going to the machine, going into the meter box. We can measure the power. Right now, nothing is on. We're pulling three watts. I'm gonna hit the button on the server power supply breakout board. Here we go, three, two, one. Turn that on. We got lights, we got one light, power light in the back. System lights are coming on. It's booting up, it's doing its thing. Next thing we gotta do, Gold Shell actually will give them props on this one. They have a Great, wrong keyboard, Mike, wrong keyboard. They have a great website, um, find.goldshell.com to allow you to find your machines on your local network. So we're gonna go check that out. There it is, Gold Shell XT box. We're gonna go to settings and we're gonna change this to English. We'll unlock it, initial password in there. Okay, so what we gotta do now is change our pool. So it's got a pool in here. We're gonna add a pool. We're gonna use DX pool. They have, what do they have right now? Let's see, Mover on mining pool stats slash stream. 2% fee, that's where like all the hash rate is. I could use lucky pool. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with DX pool, I think on this one. So that's good, because I already signed up for an account in preparation for this video. There's the URL. So I was taking a look on the coin gecko here. If I go to markets, Here's the exchanges with the highest volume. This one is not in the US. I don't feel like doing a VPN to get onto it. Mex, and so I went with uh, Beconomy, which I've never used before. Works in the US, sign up for an account, and they have uh, Tari on there, so. It's up and modding, ready to go. Gold Shell XT box, pretty, pretty quiet, actually. Really impressed with that. It's not making much noise at all. And then on the meter box, let's take a look at the power. 423 watts is what it's pulling right now on 120 volts. So we'll remember that and take a look at what it's advertised to do and see if Gold Shell is overselling this ASIC like so many of them do. But we'll take a look. Remember that, 423 watts. Performance-wise in Gold Shell's dashboard right now, 594 to 595 giga hash per second. Remember that as we look to what it's advertised for. That'll fluctuate a little bit. Let's go take a look at the ASIC chip down here, which is much higher uh, because of those fluctuations. And you can see that represented in the chart right now, which will fill out as I mine for quite a bit of time on this. So let's take a look at DX pool, hash rate, 80 giga hash reported right now. Obviously that's not accurate. We'll go take a look at some more information. Current hash rate is 322 giga hash, that 80 is the one hour average. I just started mining with this thing. So as it submits work and shares over to the pool, it will get a better representation of what its actual performance is, which will come very close to matching what's reported in the XT box gold shell miners dashboard. And that is what's gonna determine how much I get paid. But even in like the 10 minutes that this has been mining, it says that I have, I guess between the both of those, um, what's that? We'll just say like 125 XTM. So actually curious, what's that worth right now? 125, let's go put that down here. 125, 32 cents. I already made 32 cents in 10 minutes. That's kind of crazy. We're gonna take a look at the profitability in a second. Hold on to your pants, it's wild. Um, but let's find out a little bit more about this mining machine. We're over on goldshell.com. Here it is, there's the price, around 2,000 
dollars for this because of how much money it makes right now. And it is advertised to do 580 giga hash per second, which we're actually over that. So that's great. And 400 watts, we're a little over that, which is not so great, but 23, 24 watts over that. I'm going to call it good. It's within that range of variance between plus or minus 5% which you can see on their website. And the reason that that is, it's just every chip, ASIC chip is different because of the silicon that's within it. Some are gonna perform better. Some are not gonna perform as good. Looks like I got a pretty good unit performing above its specifications in hash rate, but also a little above in its wattage. Profitability time. And this is really why I said what I said at the beginning of this video. Let's go take a look on mining now Dot com. This is all ASICs, every single ASIC on every single coin. Tencent Electric Rate, Gold Shell XT Box, sorted by profitability, is the most profitable mining machine, period. Coming in at over $28 a day on a Tencent Electric Rate. That is some unheard stuff. That is insane and this thing just snuck out of nowhere for me i don't know if you feel that way let me know down in the comment section below this coin was not on my radar it probably shouldn't have been on my radar i took a look at its website i can't find anything that excites me about it i don't understand it's mining you can mine like multiple different algorithms uh, are supported by it that's not like a new thing like uh, there's coins that i've mined in the past that i've done that I don't know what it's trying to accomplish. I, I, there's nothing, there's nothing there for me besides how much money this thing makes. And so it's mining right now and it's mining over to DX pool, really valid pool. And then I'm going to send that over to that exchange that I've never used before, the economy. I don't, I don't like saying the name of it. And I'm going to send it over this exchange. And if you look at what bot markets and let's go do XTM. So it's got a trading pair with tether only. And that's okay because I am going to mine this, send it over to that exchange and instantly sell it for tether. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna hold this coin. I don't wanna know anything about it. Looking at its chart. I don't know why it has two names, Tari and Minotari. Don't know. I don't, it sounds like Minotaur. That, that doesn't, I don't know. I don't like that. Chart, three months. Big spike, came all the way down. Decent spike, and then kind of staying around there. Let's see, since these gold shell machines have been shipping, you know, I, I would expect everybody's gonna dump what this thing mines on the market, and it's going to kill and suppress the price of this. And I don't know what happens after that. So should you buy this? No, you should not buy this machine unless um, you like taking a huge risk to see what happens. It's $2,000. It is sold out. You got to sign up for announcements and like get emails for pre-orders. I haven't seen that from Gold Shell in a while. So they either didn't make a lot of these or, they, or there's just such high demand where people are trying to get in first. I don't know if we're gonna see other manufacturers get in on this. This is this one kind of like snuck in. But what we gotta be mindful of is Gold Shell's strategy is always first to market. They will not be the best. They just won't be. And I think they're fine with that. They will get out to market first and get all that hash rate on the network. And then typically what happens is other ASIC manufacturers follow behind with much better performing chips that essentially wipe Gold Shell out. The only exception to that that I would say is probably Dogecoin, Litecoin, script mining. It didn't wipe Gold Shell out. Dogecoin just did so well that it kept them in the game. But many of these other cryptocurrencies, Gold Shell ultimately gets just wiped out. Um, and I, like I don't see them make new, more efficient chips. They just go on to the next thing. That That's just their strategy. You can either like it or not like it, but that's just their strategy. That's their business model. And just for that, I, okay, that's just who they're gonna be. And they're not gonna try to be anything else up until this point in the game. So first to market with a Tari ASIC chip in this machine. They also let me know that they're going to be putting that in a, a card. 
for the gold shell bite, which is cool. I actually still have that thing running and mining Dogecoin uh, and Elio. If you want to check out my video on that, leave it linked up in the card above. But yeah, I'm going to mine this over the economy, exchange it to Tether, and then probably just over to Litecoin so I can get it off there really cheap over to Coinbase. And, and then I'll probably just dump it into Bitcoin because that's what I want. I just want to accumulate Bitcoin. If you're crazy enough to want to take the risk to buy one of these, there will be a coupon code that will save you some money. Not a lot of money, but some money down in the video description and the comment section. But buy at your own risk. I will say most people who play this game of getting machine early get burned. And it would have been better to not do that or to buy the coin if it's something they really believe in. But every now and then, it works out, but it's such a small percent of the time. What would you do? What do you think of all this? Let me know down in the comment section, Gold Shell XT box. I know I got my video out. Other people got their video out, videos out as well. I haven't watched any of them yet. I'm gonna do that after I release mine. It's here, it's gonna go mine. I'm gonna track the prices of it, track its profitability, but uh, it's a Bitcoin miner right now and I'm okay with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like button if you did. If you want to check out some other videos, I released a really cool one that nobody watched on the Flu Miner L2. It's a uh, crypto miner speaker. I actually really like the thing. So you can check that out, leave it up on the screen. And it's getting chilly out there. So I'll show you the video on that Bitcoin space heater. Also leave that on the screen. If you haven't checked that out, highly recommend it. That's the video. Like button, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.